727 now on this Thursday morning and a Fox News alert. An inspector general at the Department of Homeland Security has found that the screening process of migrants at our southern border is, quote, inadequate. It's not working. This, of course, just before we learned eight suspected terrorists cross our border illegally. Here with reaction, Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, good morning to you. Morning, Steve. You know, uh, so the inspector general said essentially that the people down at our southern border, Border Patrol, does not have access to all the federal data to fully vet people. And so it sounds like the federal government is not sharing the information with the people on the front lines who need the information. Yeah, Steve, this report confirms what we've long known, that Joe Biden's border disaster is a terrible threat to the lives of the American people. It's not just that millions of migrants come here to take jobs from Americans or they clog up our hospitals and our schools. They introduce fentanyl and drug cartels into our streets, but terrorists. Now, we should expect that federal government computer systems don't always work well together. Right. Of course, there's nothing to vet in many of these countries because they barely have governments. That's why we should not open our border the way Joe Biden has done for four years. We didn't have terrorists crossing our border for four years under Donald Trump because we secured our border, we destroyed ISIS, and we were tough on terrorism all around the world. But right now, this is in effect a ticking time bomb right. that a border is wide open and that terrorists from all around the world could come here and plot attacks against the American people. One more reason why we have to return Donald Trump to the White House. Well, here's the thing. They might not, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about people 400,000 people who are already in the country. Apparently, the government has not conducted complete checks on asylum seekers who came here as early as 2017. They've been living here for, what's that? Five, that's uh, like seven years. Yeah, that's right, Steve. It's not just that we're allowing people to cross our border from who knows where, who could have right. ties to terrorists. It's that once these people get into the country, many of whom have registered with Joe Biden's administration to get asylum status, to get protected status under American right. law, as the government processes those applications, they're still not going back and checking government databases. They're yeah. not updating that information since those people crossed years ago. So we could have potential terrorists living among our midst and being awarded protected status under federal law. Yeah. Joe Biden's wide open border and his immigration policy is a danger to the American people. Well, and while this is happening, Joe Biden is overseas. He's at the G7. Uh, he looks like it's a little out of gas. He doesn't really seem to know which direction he's supposed to go on the, on the stage. Uh, it, there was some hesitancy. Um, what do you make of what he is doing there today. We do know he's going to meet with Zelensky and they're going to be talking about more stuff for them. Well, Steve, let's just call a spade a spade. I mean, we all saw Joe Biden arrive this morning in Italy. It's embarrassing and uh, it's harmful to America's interests. When world leaders see a president who is infirm and weak, shuffling around the stage, not knowing where he's supposed to go, as we saw at D-Day, trying to sit down in chairs that aren't even there and shuffling off the stage, they know that they can take advantage of America. And that's not just our adversaries, our allies as well. When Donald Trump was president, these G7 and G20 meetings and NATO meetings may not have been you know, like tea and crumpets, but that was because our friends knew that Donald Trump was serious and he meant business and he was going to put America's interests first and he expected them mm -hmm. to contribute to our common defense. Even our allies know that Joe Biden is a pushover and he prefers going along to get a, getting along, even if it's not good for the American people. Uh, real quick, uh, 1230 today, speaking of Donald Trump, you're going to sit down with him. He's coming to meet with uh, lawmakers in the Capitol Hill area, uh, Republicans in the House and the Senate as well to plan what to do if he is reelected, right? Yeah, looking forward to sitting down with Donald Trump and senators at 1230. He's meeting with congressmen earlier, earlier than that. We're going to talk first about what we can do to help each other to make sure we get Donald Trump elected this fall and that we deliver a Republican majority in the Congress for him. So second, we can deliver for the American people and begin to repair the damage of Joe Biden's presidency. That's extending and even make, maybe even making better and stronger the great Trump tax cuts of 2017, securing our border, rebuilding our military, and restoring respect 
fight for mm -hmm. America around the world. I'm looking forward to seeing President Trump. I know all the congressmen and senators are as well, too. It's at 1230. I hope you're getting a free lunch. Just saying, because you're going to be working through <laughs> the lunch hour. Maybe, maybe a Chick-fil-A sandwich or two there. <laughs> there you go. All right. Senator, thank you very much.